In South Asia, climate change, urbanization, and globalization have led to new challenges in managing water resources. In turn, sound water management is crucial to ensure food security, reduce vulnerability, and enhance well-being in the region. To address these challenges, water professionals need to adopt a holistic approach that situates water challenges within the larger socio-economic and political context of the region. Understanding the linkages between water, energy, food security and climate variability is also increasingly important. Saki Waters and its partner institutions in Bangladesh, India, Nepal and Sri Lanka have launched a fellowship with the support of International Development Research Center, IDRC, to equip water professionals with the right skills to tackle contemporary water issues. Conservation and utilization of water resources in an integrated way. The program, called IDRC South Asia Water Sawa Fellowship, builds on the six years of experience gained through a similar project called Crossing Boundaries. The Sawa program aims at addressing several gaps in the water sector by way of education. First, it overcomes narrow technical approaches through an innovative interdisciplinary curriculum. Second, it goes beyond narrow localized perspectives and fosters exchange of experiences and ideas among fellows of the different countries. Third, it attempts to reduce the strong gender imbalance in the water sector by awarding 80% of the fellowships to women. Lastly, it aims to bridge the gap between theory and practice by using an action and problem-oriented pedagogy. As mentioned earlier, in order to foster the spirit of cross-fertilization of ideas and to provide exposure to issues and challenges in water resources management in the South Asian region, a six-day training program was organized at Kathmandu. It gathered 25 postgraduate students from four South Asian countries. It's not only about learning from the uh, experts. This short introductory training was designed according to the core principles of the program, a strong scientific and interdisciplinary basis by inviting top South Asian water experts, a problem-oriented approach, linking theory with reality on the ground through field visits and discussing on ground real-world problems, sharing cross-country experiences and ideas by proposing a platform for discussion for the fellows from the four countries. During the training, the fellows visited a local water distribution system in the Kathmandu Valley. First, they interacted with the users' committee of a drinking water system in Matatirtha Village Development Committee or VDC in the Kathmandu Valley on both the technical and institutional aspects of the system, including fee collection. And another tank is another system they have, and he is the another uh, he is the president of the system. And the, the water system was built just eight years back. Second, they visited a canal irrigation system in Naubise VDC in Kavri district. They interacted with members of the Village Water User Association as well as local farmers on issues related to water allocation and operation and, and maintenance uh, of the they system. They water for the priority cost to the Kale and they will uh, give the water from the end during the wet season. So that the fellows learned how to ask relevant questions on water management and how to relate the significance of these systems to farmers' livelihoods. These field exercises enriched the students with invaluable real-life experiences. I got to know and gain knowledge about the uh, uh, climatic uh, variations and the water resources and the management and the IWRM implementations and the interdisciplinary concepts and um, 
uh, well, uh, most of the water professionals has ex uh, had told their experiences and etc. And uh, uh, the field uh, which we went, uh, like Mata Tirtha and the village uh, which is adopting the uh, new base uh, fan irrigation system, and we had a great interview with them, and it has been thought provoking. And finally, uh, we had a leadership uh, leadership skills by Shukanya. Uh, it was thought provoking, and we had many practical uh, knowledge and how to tackle the situations and the leadership qualities and etc. What I see as special in this fellowship program is it helps us to interact with multinations, multinationals. That means we meet people from other countries who are also Sava fellows and we get to understand their problems. Although we learn it in classroom experience, they teach us that this is what's happening in the world and this is what they're doing. Once we got into the program and we came here, we experienced it in real life and we gained their experience as well. Other than our perspective, we got to know their perspective of the problem and the problems they are facing, what's happening in their countries and their traditions and we got to know about their cultures and we had a wonderful time with this program. We look at it in a holistic way. In our fellowship program, they have shown us to look at it in all perspectives, economy-wise, technical-wise, social-wise, and environmental-wise. And how the water issues are in every aspect, in irrigation, agriculture, in domestic sector, industry, and everywhere. We get to work with the common people in here. In our research, we actually got into the field, work with the common people, we put ourselves with them, we one of them, and we got the real experience of that rather than staying in the classroom and learning of how things should be. We got, to a, we got a practical way of learning that we will never forget. And I think this is the best program and the best opportunity that I got. Uh, beyond the engineering background, that means uh, before my knowledge was only in between the making of dam or barrage, or engineering solution or technical solution uh, but uh, now I can think beyond this technical solution uh, so this fellowship uh, make me to understand the importance of water not only as a water professional uh, as a human being uh, water as a, a social resource and uh, I think after after completing my study or completing this fellowship I will be able to do something for the community, for the society. Um, though I, I follow, I am from one discipline, uh, it gives me a chance to insight into the other disciplines as well. Uh, therefore, uh, and already I am working in the water sector of government of Nepal, so I am a very responsible person uh, for the Nepalese people. Therefore, uh, this fellowship uh, was uh, an extra incentive for me and the course is um, the design of the course i found it, it really interesting and therefore i applied for the fellowship and finally got it and i'm studying it uh, and the contents in the course are really useful for me but uh, further um, we we deal uh, we dealt one semester the technical aspects uh, technical parts regarding water uh, and now we are on we are Undergo undergoing different disciplines and in which water is involved. So I think while actually working in the fields, only one discipline knowledge is not sufficient. We need to have multiple discipline knowledge. In this training we are doing, we are going to the fields and we are interacting with the people. We are trying to know their problems uh, and we are using different tools of different disciplines. Ultimately, the new generation of 60 interdisciplinary water professionals and policy makers will contribute to creating a paradigm shift towards integrated water resource management and will promote approaches that are gender sensitive, committed to reduce poverty and inequalities and that are respectful of our environment. In that sense, we are creating not just water professionals, we are creating water leaders.